more stability push-up, which is going to be a lot different than a regular push-up. So with this one, you're going to do this in three different steps. So you're going to lay flat like you normally would on a push-up, just like this. And normally your hands are going to be back here when you do a push-up. With this one, you're looking to have your thumbs at your temples and out just like this. So first step from there, curl your toes. Second step, elbows up. Third step, one unit push-up. Come back down, drop your elbows, and you're gonna do three. So up, push up. And so what that does is you're looking at, it's a lot more stability within your core, and watching this back, I'll be able to figure out kind of where I'm at. The last time I tested this, I was around the two. Um, and what you're wanting to make it is one full unit. So you're wanting to avoid, just like with any other push-up, raising your upper body first and then your hips. So you want it to come up as one solid unit. That'll show that you have a tight core, that you have good core strength, um, and then that'll mitigate anything in our previous tests where we were testing multiple things. We can say, okay, this may not be a core issue. Now it's a hip, now it's an ankle. Um, so we throw this test in at the end just to determine if there's anything before that we thought it might be core, and now maybe it's not. So that was our core stability push-up. Like I said, thumbs at your temples, you're pushing those elbows high, and you're wanting to come up as one full unit.